there are three important uh, properties that will help you as you work with whole numbers. Let's look at them one by one. The first one is called the commutative property of addition and multiplication. I want you to take note this property will only apply when we are adding numbers or we are multiplying numbers, not subtracting numbers or dividing numbers. It won't work. All right, so let's look at an example. If you are given two numbers, it has to be two numbers, for instance, three and four, and you are adding these numbers. So three is added to four. The commutative property states that the order in which the numbers appear does not matter. Three can appear first, or four can appear first. It doesn't matter. So three plus four is the same thing as four plus three. That, that's your commutative property. In general, if your numbers are A and B and you are adding them, so A is added to B, you can write that as B plus A. It doesn't matter. Uh, that is true for multiplication. For instance, 3 multiplied by 4 can be written as 4 multiplied by 3. So when I write 3 times 4 and you write 4 times 3, we mean exactly the same thing. In terms of multiplication, it could be A multiplied by B. So A times B is the same thing as B times A. All right, so this is the commutative property. And we are going to be using this property to deal with numbers, especially whole numbers. The other property is the associative property. Again, the associative property is restricted to multiplication and addition. So in this case, we are adding or multiplying. So we are adding more than two numbers or we multiply more than two numbers. Let's start with three numbers. For instance, two plus three plus four. I'm adding three numbers here. The commutative property, sorry, the associative property says that you can group any two of these numbers together and work their answer out before you add the other number. For instance, 2 and 3 can be grouped together like this. Work out what 2 plus 3 is first before you add the 4. Or you could decide to group 3 and 4 like that. You will get the same answer. I know you know that 2 plus 3 plus 4 will give you 9. So if you group it like this, 2 plus 3 will give you 5. Then that will be 5 plus 4, which gives you the same answer as 9. Or if you decide to work it like this, that means you need to keep your 2 there as it is. Then 3 plus 4 is 7. But 2 plus 7 is also equal to 9. So these things are just the same. So you can group like this, or you can group like that. The associative law allows you to do that. Same for multiplication, uh, 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. You can first of all multiply 2 by 3, get your answer, then multiply that answer by 4. Or you can leave the 2 as it is first and multiply first of all 3 by 4 before you multiply by 2. That will give you exactly the same answers. Let's use this one here. Uh, 2 times 3 will give you 6. So that is 6 multiplied by 4. And 6 multiplied by 4 is 24. If you are using that grouping, 3 times 4 should be done first. That gives you 12. So this is now 2 times 12, which still gives you 24. That is your associative property. Please go through that again and make sure that you understand it. The third property is called the distributive property. The distributive property is applicable 
when we are multiplying a single number by a sum of other numbers or by a difference of other numbers. Let me show you an example. Suppose we have 2 here and we are multiplying 2 by the sum of 3 and say 5. So this is 2 multiplied by 3 plus 5. I know that using your order of operations you can simplify whatever is in the brackets and work it out and then multiply the answer by 2, that's fine. But if you want to use the distributive property, this is what it says. This 2 should be distributed across the multiplication sign. So we need to take the 2 and multiply it by 3. And then take the 2 and multiply it by 5. We are distributing the 2. So 2 multiplied by 3, and that will give us an answer of 6. Then that plus sign that you see there should be put down here as well. Then take the 2 and multiply by 5. That will give you 10. And so the answer is 16. So that, that process there is called distribution. You can do that with um, subtraction as well. For instance, 2 can be multiplied by, say, 10 minus 3. So we distribute, take the 2, multiply it by 10, the answer is 20. There's a minus sign there, so we need to put the minus sign down. Now take the 2 and multiply it by 3, you get 6. So this thing is now 20 minus 6, and 20 minus 6 will give you your answer of 14. Right. Let's look at um, the application of this. Where do we use these properties? We can use this in simplifying expressions without using a calculator. Sometimes talk about mental work. So let's apply what we just learned. Simplify without using a calculator this statement here, or this expression here, 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Right. Uh, we, we, we understand that adding numbers can be done in many different ways, but it's easy to add numbers when numbers maybe are in tens and something like that. So what you can do here is you can group these numbers, like the 4 and the 6 can be grouped together, because they, they give us a 10 and it's easy to add a 10. And if you look at these other numbers here, this is 2 plus 3, which will give us 5. Then the 5 can actually be added to that other 5 to give us a 10. So somebody could actually group this thing like this. So group the 2 and the 3 together like that. Then keep the 4 as it is. But maybe group it together with the 6. Right. Then end with your 5. The, the reason why you are doing all this is because you understand the property or the commutative property. You understand it. So you can group numbers like that. It doesn't matter. 5 plus 6 means the same thing as 6 plus 5. So you can rearrange numbers. That is why we are grouping them like this. 2 plus 3 is 5. 4 plus 6 is 10. And that one gives us a 5. Now, if you look at this now, I know we can add all at once and get our answer, but remember, these are just examples. You will get big numbers. So, do you see that we can group the 5s? We can take the 5 and the 5 kind of group them together like that. Then add our 10 later. 5 plus 5 will give us 10 and 10 plus 10 will give us 20. Right, we, we, we don't do this probably when we are adding numbers. If I ask you to add these numbers, you probably will not do this, but this is exactly how it works. It's the commutative law and the associative laws that we are using. Let me show you another example where the distributive law can be very, very important. Suppose I ask you to find the value of 45 multiplied by 22 and do not use a calculator. Right. Somebody could do this. 45 is multiplied by 22. 
but 22 can be written as 20 plus 2. Right. Now, this means 45 should be distributed because the distributive law now can work. So I'm going to take the 45 and multiply it by 20 and then take the 45 and multiply it by 2. So this is what we are going to do. So 45 is going to be multiplied by 20 there. There's a plus sign there, so put it down. Then 45 again is multiplied by 2, like this. Right. If you think these numbers are still too much for you, there's something that you can do. 45 can be written as 40 plus 5. So this means 40 plus 5 is actually multiplied by 20. Same there. 45 means 40 plus 5. Now that 40 plus 5 is multiplied by 2. Now do you see that the distributive law can be used? If you want to see it clearly, maybe move the 20 to the front. So this is 20, which is multiplied by 40 plus 5. Do the same thing for that one. Move the 2 to the front. That means 2 is multiplied by 40 plus 5. Right, now let's use distribution. 20 is multiplied by 40 and 20 is multiplied by 5. So this is 20 times 40. I think we can just write down the answer. That will give us 800. Then 20, we need a plus sign here. Then 20 is multiplied by 5. That should give us 100. We need that plus sign down here. Then 2 is distributed as well. So 2 times 40 will give us 80. And then 2 times 5 will give us 10. And if you add these numbers, again, you can use your commutative laws here. I know that some of you will decide, let me add these two together. When you are adding these two together, grouping them like that, and maybe adding those two together, you are applying somehow your commutative laws. So this is actually 900 plus 90, which is 990. So you will be using this kind of reasoning using these properties.